Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a rewind plan with me and this is just look back at my last one. I used a coffee doodles kit. Um, I believe it was her... I forget the name of it. It might have been Paradise or something like that, but it turned out really, really pretty. I tried my hand at some simply gilded like headers um, or like made out of washi and I think it turned out really, really cute. But moving on into this next week here, which would be the first week of August, I'm going to be using this kit from the Organizing Companion who is no longer in business, but still you guys helped me choose this kit to use for this week. So I do have the bottom washi here, the full boxes, and there's date cover-ups on this page. And then are there... There are not flags, so I'm going to have to pull out some flags from Clever Gal Crafts. Um, I do have here some Simply Gilded Washi. Um, I do have like mixed metals going on, which I'm not too concerned about, but I really wanted to pull in some yellow if I could. But I think I'm going to go with, I don't know. I kind of wanted to do the yellow at the bottom, so I don't know if I'll use the gold ones, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I just have lots of possibilities. And then as far as flags go, I kind of want to do yellow too because I just, I don't use yellow. I feel like a lot of planner girls say that and we've been finding reasons to use a ton of yellow. So there is like these hints of yellow in these two full boxes with the Birds of Paradise flowers. So I think this is going to go well. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything down, including my glitter headers, which are from Scribble Prince Co. And then I'll be right back with you guys. guys let's move into the sidebar here which I actually didn't think about um <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna work with what I got because that makes the most sense to me one two three four five six um yeah I don't know what to do here um well, let's just see what happens. So I saved this box for the quote box just because I thought it was the most decorative. I think it'll look nice over here. And then let's go ahead and put in some of this green washi or teal washi, whatever we're gonna call it. I think it matches. I don't think it matches perfectly, but I think it matches. And I think if I'm going to pull it in throughout the spread, I should at least put it in the sidebar. Um, so we'll put that in with the habit tracker. And then I'll be honest this week and not put in a YouTube um, thing because... I really didn't, I think I uploaded stuff on Monday, but I don't think I uploaded anything after Monday. 
and I didn't journal at all, which I need to catch up on, um, because I need to have that done, <laughs> so we'll put that in, and then I will put in a to-do list or one of these check boxes for, um, the dinners and then I'll split the weekend between two boxes um, so for that I'll use one of the meal little things as like a header and let's wipe some of this stuff out and then I think if I lay this down it should work perfectly but let me let me see what happens here that looks really cute and then for this bottom section I think I'll put in this to do header um, I'll use some of the yellow washi again just to bring that in and then I'll put a to do header and then just put in one of the little um, three heart checklists or three box checklists um, just to take up some space because there's there's still a lot of space left so we'll stick this in here and I'm gonna white out this bottom line because that's all that will be showing and it'll just be a white space sidebar which I don't think I've ever done one so that looks kind of neat um, I'm gonna give my camera a second to cool down and then I'll be right back with you guys all right guys let's jump into this with monday i have work so for work this week i'm using the little miss papery labels i pulled off all the ones that i needed just so that it would be easier so i have them here they're all shades of green which i figured was probably a good option since most of the time i end up putting these up at the top which is where i have the yellow headers so there's the first one and then i had coffee time this day with my co-workers so I'm going to put in the coffee cup from the kit and then if I can get it off there we go and then um, I got some happy mail I haven't like marked happy mail in this planner in such a long time so I figured it was about time especially since this day I didn't have a whole lot going on so we have the little envelope here this day I got my simply gilded um, order or mystery kit and then my Stella bow um, order as well which should both be in hauls that should be going up when you guys see this video um, and then I did some online shopping for my trip so I wanted to use this little like money emoji <laughs> just because um, I actually like saved a lot of money which was nice um, but I thought it would be fun to mark with that um, and I kind of want to put it on something just because I feel like that was the fun part of my day um, let's put it on this half box because I like this half box and I'm gonna let's see I think what I'm gonna do is move this down I'm gonna move everything around because this is like basically it for Monday except for the last thing that I'm gonna mark down at the bottom that's the only kind of bummer thing about having kits with boxes like that where there's like a whited out space to write on is you have to put those on days that you're either busy or you wouldn't mind marking something um, so put that there it's kind of ruined now so I kind of don't want to use it let's pull out a different Happy Meal sticker um, but I'm gonna put this in there for shopping and then let me grab a Happy Meal sticker um, which one should I use? I'm not using any foil this week except for the washi. Um, so let's just use one of these Stella, Stella Bow mailbox stickers. These are some of her like doodle stickers, which are really cute. I think that's probably one of my favorite like icon types she has or her doodle icons. Um, so let's use the yellow one. 
and then I'm gonna put in oh actually you know what I'm not gonna do that because I want to add in some some washi in between these two and I want to do the yellow one here so we'll do this green one do the green and we'll put the yellow here and then I'm gonna put the green one or the teal one up there so we'll put this in the yellow's like really growing on me now I want to like find other kits to use this in I feel like for October it might be good it might be a bit bright but I feel like it'll still work um, but I think it's just kind of a nice thing to have around the yellow because I mean why not why not have yellow at the ready if you needed it and then we'll put this in up here and then the last thing that I have to mark on this day is that I filmed, edited, and uploaded some stuff. Um, that was still late, but still. I did it, so I have these Moonlight Paper Co. stickers, so I'm going to use the yellow film, the green edit, and then the yellow upload because I don't think any of the other stuff matches perfectly. So there's that and then that's the day for Monday pretty much. And then moving on over to Tuesday we need another one of these work labels and what happened at work this day? Um, I had lunch with my mom so for that I'm going to use one of these little like meal stickers and put that in here and then I had my appointment this day so I think um yeah we'll do it this way so I'm gonna use this like alarm clock type situation to mark my appointment and then down here in a half box I'm going to mark that it was family night and I'm gonna put some washi around it. So we'll put this here and then we'll do the green. Is this gonna work or is this gonna look weird? I feel like it could go either way, <laughs> but I'm committing to it. So I'm going to put this at the bottom, and then we'll put the yellow at the top. And then that should be good for this day. We watched Bachelorette this night, and I'm excited to see who she picks um, and see if it's going to... I don't know, I always think about, like, is this going to work? Is this going to last? Because um, I feel like... Most of them don't. Okay, so we'll just stick this in the middle of those two. That looks really cute. And for family night, I pulled out these family time stickers. And I think I'm going to use the yellow one right in there. And those are from Once More With Love. And then moving on over to Wednesday, we need another work label. And then I had my Scribble Prints bill due this day because it's now on the 1st. So I'm going to put this in here. These are like old Scribble Prints bill dues. And then I just had nanny work. So I'm going to put in a piece of washi here and then put the work label down below. This is kind of a boring week for the most part. I worked late a day and nothing really happened on the weekend. So we're just, we're taking up space here. <laughs> so put work in there. And then this day it was really fun with the kids. I took them to the, like, it's kind of like Color Me Mine where you like paint your own pottery, but it's a different name of a place. And so we did that, and that was tons of fun. So I'm going to use this half box down here. And 
Um, I think I'll do some washi in between. Because why not? I feel like every other day has all the has both color washies. So it would be weird to like just not put it on this day. <laughs> so let's throw the yellow in. And then I wish that this kid had some deco of some sort or that I could think of some deco stickers to pull into this. Just because I feel like on some of these full boxes it would look cute to have some little characters or something. But there's that, and then for marking that, I pulled out these little, like, paint palettes from Little Paper Prints. So I'm going to use one of the big ones and stick that over here next to the coil. And then that is the first half of the week. So let's flip you guys over to Thursday. Work again. And then... Um... Starbucks this day. Um, I also subbed two times this week for classes at camp, um, which I hadn't done at all this summer, so I was super tired. Um, I think that's why I wasn't more productive in, like, my off time. Um, but yeah, so this is also from Little Paper Prints. It's, like, a little Starbucks cup. Um, so this day I was, like, as acting as um, camp director, so this day was a little bit more stressful than just subbing for a teacher. So definitely needed the coffee. Um, but I did get to have lunch with my mom this day, which was really nice. So I'm gonna put this in here, like so. And then I had nanny work, and it looks like this day I'm only gonna get to put in one color of washi, but that's okay. And our activity this day, because I worked late this this time around, so I was with them from 2.30 to 12. So I needed to tire them out, so I took them to the community pool, um, which was, it's actually, I don't know, I'd never been there before, and so when you hear community pool, I at least think of a gross place to go, especially since I live in Los Angeles, it's like a big city. Um, but actually it was a saltwater pool, which I was super surprised. And as someone with very sensitive skin, I was very happy to know that <laughs> my skin wasn't gonna break out or be in trouble. Um, and it wasn't, I mean, it, there were definitely people there, but it wasn't so crowded that like you couldn't move. Um, and the locker room space was nice and it was, it was just generally a good, a good experience. And the kids were so tired that they fell asleep at seven. So I just got to sit there and read my book, which I haven't finished yet. And I need to finish it because I'm like so done with this book, but that's what makes it hard. Like, have you guys been ever been reading a book and you're like, I'm committed to finishing it, but I don't really want to finish it. That's where I'm at. I've got like 90 pages left and I just want it to be over. <laughs> um, so for the pool, I have these little scribbler girls and I'm gonna use the little mermaid Celeste over here. And then moving on over to Friday, we have work. These are the last two works that I need to use. So we'll put this one up top. And then I had a bill due this day, so I'm gonna use another one of those Scribble Prints bill dues. Um, we'll use the, which one? We'll use this one. Um, and I'll put this here, and let's put some yellow washi in between, cause nothing else really happened except for me working. Um, so, We'll put in that, and then I had my, I had a pretty big YouTube binge, because I've been so busy I haven't gotten time to, like, watch YouTube videos, and then if I'm not working, I'm trying to film and catch up on videos or editing and stuff like that, which, it's hard to watch YouTube videos when you're doing that stuff. <laughs> um, so, we'll just put this in for nannying, and then for... My YouTube binge will do a half box. Let's do this one. And then we'll put in 
some of this washi. I feel like this is going to be the first spread that I've actually integrated the <laughs> Simply Gilded washi very nicely. Hurrah! It only took me two months, I think is how long I've been using Simply Gilded washi in my planners. Okay, so there's that. And for the YouTube binge, I pulled out these little munchkins from Once More With Love, and I'm using the one with the popcorn. And then moving on over to Saturday, I pre-planned in the morning, so I pulled out these little, like, planner shelves, um, also from Little Paper Prints. And I think I'm going to use, I was going to use the big one, but I don't know, I don't know my thoughts on that as of now. Um, let's see. Let's use the small green one because I didn't take too long to do it just because I had other stuff that I needed to focus on and take care of. Uh, but I do think I'll use, let's see, let's use this like flag. Oh no, the hexagons are so cute. Let's do that. Do the hexagon in here, like so. And then, what else? Um, how do I wanna space this? Okay, hold that thought. I'm gonna put in the weekend banner, which is really just like this dotted thing. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put that up top. I usually don't do it where it's over a full box and then over blank space just because it kind of bugs me, but I'm doing it this week because <laughs> I need to take up some space here. Um, and then I'm going to put in this teal washi down here over the dots. And then we'll put in the hexagon with the planner shelf. Okay, that's better. And then after that, I went and got my nails done, which I'm very pleased with. On camera, this finger looks very silver, uh, but it has like a green tint to it. So that's why I got it with olive green, because um, I'm going to the desert <laughs> for vacation. So um, I'm using this green Crest Press nail polish bottle, and then I'm using these Moonlight Paper Co. Brow Appointment stickers, because I got my nails and my brows done. So I'm going to put the brow appointment down at the bottom of the full box and then just put the little nail polish over to the side that looks really cute and caress press opens on the 13th which i'm so excited for um i'm very ready for it um okay so then afterwards i got pokey for dinner so i have these little asian food doodle stickers from the coffee monsters co and i'm gonna put this next to I think I'll put it on one of these guys, one of these labels, and put this like so, and then we'll put in the yellow washi for the day, because the only other thing that's left is that I set up my Kiki K, which I still haven't posted on Instagram yet. Um, if you don't know, I do stories on my Instagram where I flip through my setup at the beginning of the month for my Kiki K. So that reminds me, I need to do that. Um, but to mark that that was what I did that day, I'll use this like rounded corner box. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna white out the little corners of the actual planner so that you don't see that um, and then we'll stick this down I did pull out different planner stickers for this just because I like things to be different so we'll put this in and those are from once more with love and I'm gonna use the little little munchkin at the table um, and we'll put her off to this side. 
there we go. And then lastly, moving on over to Sunday, I worked in the yard helping my dad do some stuff like concrete and all that fun, fun stuff. Um, so let's use this box here for that. And I pulled out my little wonton in a million like emotion sticker sheet this one here um and i wanted to use this one with the mustache because it just reminded me of my dad <laughs> so i didn't really have any other like yard work stickers so we're just gonna stick that in there and that works for me and then to kind of relax and unwind i did another youtube binge so i'm gonna use one of these little once more with love YouTube stickers and I kind of want to put in washi here we'll do the yellow and then put this in on the white space because I don't really know which box I would use I definitely didn't YouTube binge for that long this day because I decided it would be a good time for me to finally take a bath and do a face mask. I don't think I've done like a pamper myself session like that in such a long time. So definitely wanted to do that. So I have these little like bath girls from Little Paper Prince. Um, the I Love Bubble Baths. This is Anna from her Lulu and Friends collection. So I'm going to stick this in next to this flag because I think that will work well <laughs> um, and then I kind of want to put in well um, for doing a face mask I have these like face pamper yourself spa stickers from Tavi Bananas um, and yeah there's room so I'm gonna put in this washi strip and then I'll just layer what I need to of this sticker on top of it. And it kind of works because the top of this sticker is a little bit um, cut in a way that you'll be able to see what's going on on the washi. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. Yay! Okay. So that was for my little pamper session. And that was it for this week. So let me zoom you guys out. Hopefully when I open this up, it looks cohesive and looks like I know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, it does. It looks really pretty. I'm so proud of myself. I think the only thing I would have changed is like staggering these more, but still I think it looks really pretty. So I did fill out the sidebar and I filled it out with this Sharpie pen. Um, so I'm gonna use that on all of the organizing companion papers and then I also have my pilot g205 pen to write on the actual planner paper so I'm gonna do all that and then I'll be right back with you guys to show you the finished product all right guys here is the finished product and I'm so proud of it I think it looks really really pretty let me show you what I have left of the kit we have these patterned headers on this full boxes sheet we have the heart check flags or the hexagon check flags some icons some meal labels headers and a three box checklist we have some like various functional items with some headers over here and a little tv date flag and clean flag we have some of the check boxes and then their corresponding headers we have washi strips and then some half boxes as well as more headers um some washi strips this is a scalloped washi strip um and then some more icons and then i didn't even touch this page here with all of the headers and little things so this is a massive kit sadly the Organizing Companion is no longer in business like I said I think um, so I cannot link her but I will be putting this kit or what's left of it into my D stash pile so I will be giving that away at some point but I hope you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys